I forgive myself for buying into the notion that I can be quick-tempered. I'm actually just a very passionate guy. My breakup was hard because I loved her. It's hard to forgive myself. Is what I'm doing with my life good enough, meaningful enough? Who are you? What's the deeper truth? Let's do it. I think part of what helps the healing process happen is just fully accepting and embracing what is. The quickest way to continue perpetual negative thinking is to try and change it, trying to get rid of it. When we resist something, we somehow lock it in place. So the opportunity is to do the opposite. And so today, this process of self-forgiveness is about offering ourselves compassion for our humanity. One opportunity is just to place your hand over your heart. It's already here. There's this peace that's always present. And it's just taking the time to stop and getting to notice that and see if that can meet any disturbance, any misunderstandings that you've gotten into in the past. You know, I had seen two therapists before. The first time I ever felt a connection with a therapist was with Alyssa Nobriga. I forgive myself for buying into the notion that I am a procrastinator. No, oh no, my response is like, well, are you a procrastinator? <laughs> and I'm not a procrastinator. I would like to also forgive myself for buying into the notion that I'm a procrastinator and that makes me less than like myself. I forgive myself for buying into the notion that I don't fit in because I'm a leader, so I don't have to fit in. I forgive myself for buying into the notion um, that I didn't give my dream my all, because in the reality I gave it everything I had. I forgive myself for buying into the notion that I can sometimes be a bad friend because at the end of the day, I know where my heart really is. Acknowledging something that we kind of judge about ourselves with the intent to forgive it made it a lot easier to think about all that stuff, the judgments, like the negative things. It's like, oh, I want to acknowledge it so that I can say I forgive myself. I forgive myself for buying into the notion that when I break my own rules, that it means I'm like, A, like shitty person. I forgive myself for buying into the notion that I can be quick-tempered. I'm actually just a very passionate guy. I forgive myself for buying into the notion that I need the want for more to drive a fulfilled life. So I know a lot of the time people have this misunderstanding that it's selfish or it's conceited to offer ourselves the same type of love and compassion we would to a friend, but it's actually really essential. It's a deeper level of healing and why not offer that to yourselves? It was kind of addicting. It was like, oh yeah, I want to forgive myself for everything once once it started and even Amon and I were like, wait, I have one more and I have one more. One example of me freeing myself was me freeing myself from the notion that I've been a failure. And some people are really going to want to chew on every morsel of self-doubt and judgment and I'd like to like take the lesson and then apply it for when it comes up as opposed to like spending the time to like dig and conjure up this, these things that, for my immediate perception, don't need to be worked on right now, but I'd love the tools to like work on them once they come up.